in the background here. Uh, interesting stuff, man. This is um, water painting, right? Acrylic. A acry? Acrylic painting. Acrylic painting. Good Lord. Where did that come from? We, when we went to, you know, um, arts, we, we didn't go to art school, but, you know, <laughs> during second school we did some art and we never got into acrylic painting. Mm, but they, are, they have always been there. Yeah. Water paints. There are also water paints. Okay, water paints, but uh, a different kind of paint. Uh, uh, first, we need to introduce you to the people that are watching. They need to know who is this guy that does this complicated art. Um, good morning. We all know him as Naps Arts, but um, you go by different names. Introduce yourself, man. I'm by names of Napajinasu. Mm -hmm. And I do art. Okay, good stuff. How long have you been doing this art? I've been doing this art for right now being serious five years five years yeah uh, when did you start painting I started painting some ten years back when I was still in my senior four senior four you started painting how did you fall in love with the uh, with painting it's all about passion and the people you live with so my family they were more into art so that was my passion too. so your family was it your father or your mother both they were both painters no they Art, were not painters, artists artists in the different categories uh, so your father I, oh, okay okay i get it uh, so you fell in love with um, art and uh, why why this particular art i don't do only this particular art i also to do pencil work i do wood carving yeah. i do ceramics yeah. yeah but majorly i feel okay when i'm using the paint because it brings out the best of me Okay, I met this guy a few, I think it was a year ago. We had gone for uh, DJ Slixiwa, DJ Roger, something, and you had a fantastic painting. And I, I somehow landed on your card and said, oh, this guy, I have to go uh, pay him a visit. Um, so what have uh, many people that paint have probably, you know, f fallen out of school or there. Um, so have you studied? In particular, did you study this art? No, I didn't study the art, but then I studied what, what did you study? Social work and social administration. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, so what happened? Did you fail to get a job and you decided, let me go into... No, I didn't fail, but then even before I went in for social work, I was already painting. Okay. So I went there to get knowledge, and the knowledge helps me, because if you look at it, a majority of my works, they have a story to tell. Okay, so um, how much has this art helped you? Is it, um, are you just doing it for fun? Are you selling off these pieces and... and with the money that you sell off, has it improved your daily life or uh, the, the society around you or the people that you live with or your family in any way? Yeah, personally, it has improved my life because I'm able to pay off my rent, work out my life. And the society-wise, of course, I do teach people around. Mm -hmm. And in this same place, I always teach. And also at home, I help my family. I support some kids there, so it has been a good thing for me. Uh, when you say you help your family and support them, how are you supporting them? In what way? Mm, just minor things, because they can support themselves, but still, I come up, set up some projects that can still help them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and then um, uh, the society. You you say you're, you're, you're training. Yes. So um, what, 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 what do you go through? Did, does anyone just walk in and start training? How, how does the process go? Okay. Right now, because I do some professional training. Okay. Yeah, right now. So that helps me. And the society, they come in because they like the thing. They also have the passion. And I personally... Maybe because I know I've taken long to while working in this thing, so I get to do it. People get to love it. Okay. And they the, call me. Uh, there's a goal that everyone has when they're doing something, yeah? Um, what, what, what is your goal with, with this whole painting? What, what do you aim to achieve? Okay, my goal at times I aim, my primary goal at times I aim to create emotions okay. in the people and the secondary one I aim at keeping those emotions that's why you see all my artwork we have stories within them okay. yes yeah, so I create the stories and when you look at my artwork you really you really get touched and you feel like really what's going on with this art mm -hmm. it's some um, is emotional some um, it's all uh, filled with laughter some um, sorrows so it's all different categories of art and it touches people Okay, uh, so as, as, as we go through the other questions that we're going to go through, uh, let's take a look at some of your, your art pieces here. Um, is this, this, this looks different. Yeah, different. What, what's, what is this? Uh, this is a, a painting too. 
This is a painting too as well. Yeah, so yeah. now I aim at attracting the blind. Yeah. The blind also can appreciate this okay. by only touching because it's a 2D. Oh. So you can feel it, you can touch and feel it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the story behind this one? The story behind it, it's all about togetherness because that's a monkey with a baby. The baby had died, and you can see a gorilla also somewhere here trying to cry together with a monkey. Different species, but then we see that they're all caught up, they're all feeling the same under this monkey situation. Come, come, step, 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 step to my side so that uh, the viewers can have a, a, a better look of this one. Um, it's one that I think Mala would love. It, it kind of screams Mala here. Yeah. So, how much does this cost? It can go in for two millions or more. It depends on how. It depends on the buyer. Yeah, on the buyer. <laughs> so, what's the starting price for this one? Mm, it can be. Two, two millions. Two million for this materials artist. I use, yeah. Wow. Uh, that's impressive. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Um, there's this one. We want to get the story behind the story behind this picture here. Yeah, Arnold, I call this the African smile. It's its name particularly, the African smile. So if you look at the smiles into that shape of Africa, yeah. it brings out the smile we have the small kids have in Africa. And who is that at the bottom? Who is that? This is Mandela. Yeah, I thought so. And this is Mandela too, over here. Oh, hmm. wow. Uh, that's, that's a beautiful art piece there. Yes. Um, then there's this one. This, this is one that I saw on, on, I think, on Instagram or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that art piece, what is that all about? It's all about orphans. There are kids that lost their parents, they are helpless. So I try to bring out that if people look at it, they will get to know how orphans feel, how, how these kids are really working out their lives, and they may maybe come up and help. Okay. Yes, so I bring out that it's more about expression. Okay, so this is um, a finished um, art piece here. So this is finished. Now, I want you guys to take a look at um, another one that he is working on, which is right there. Um, so you have to see the difference so you can see where it comes from. This is what he's working on now. Um, can you explain this one? Yeah, it's all about happiness. If you look at the kids that are that all happy. Yeah. So it's all about happiness. However much the situation could be bad, but then the kids are too happy for life. You can see the smiles, the laughs. So I try to bring that out, bringing bring out the passion. Okay. So this this is two different kind. This is two different situations here. Uh, the other ones is um, orphans, very very sad, yeah, very sad. Um, and this one is very happy kids. Now. You can see the stories coming up now. Yeah. Yeah. Different stories to the same touch speaking out to the people okay so um for someone who wants to come and do some training uh, first of all this is your the, the stuff that you used to paint yeah. i can see yeah. the brushes yes. that's the paint is this is this specific paint where do you get this paint from um at times i receive this paint from donors okay sometimes i buy most of it yeah. here around nasa road there is a shop specifically selling more of the artwork stuff at equipment, at paints, yeah. so I go there, choose what I want because I do research. Okay. And then know what kind of paint I should use and yeah. then go in for that. Okay, many people would be thinking that someone else paints and you are just here speaking on behalf, so we're going to ask you to get a brush, okay. uh, get some paint in there, and uh, the last bit of this interview would, would you be you trying okay. uh, to finish this up, so okay. go ahead, go ahead. Um, ladies and gentlemen, in case you have just joined us, uh, this is really Reality on the ground today we are visiting a very special talented painter we all know him as naps and um, this is this 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 art is called it's called expressionism expressionism expressing my own inner feeling through colors or oh, expressionism yeah Oh, okay. expressionism. How long does this uh, piece of art take? It depends on how much time I give it, but then it takes some good time because you need to give it the feeling. Okay. Yeah, at times you have to work when you have that feeling of colors, the feeling of love. Yeah. Okay, so um, in particular, this, 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 the, the, the painting, uh, the one that we saw before of the orphans, how long did it take you? 
Me, some some weeks. Weeks. Yeah. Okay. Mm, some weeks, but do not complete weeks. I work on my own pace. Okay. Yeah. But if I was a client and I came in and I said I wanted this piece, how long do you think it will take you to finish it? A week. A week. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On my own pace still. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go on. The, do your painting as um, uh, we watch, so that. Uh, okay. So if this painting is to be done, it will take you. It will take him a week, which is very, very, very interesting. How much does it how, does it cost for someone to come for training? If it's here, it's free of charge. Oh, free of charge if I come to your show. Yeah. It's free of charge if you come here. Every Sunday, I'm always here every Sunday trying to teach from 2 to 5. Already? Yeah. How long would, do you think it will take me to master this art? It depends on your passion sometimes because you may come here without passion and spend years. And you may come here with passion and take weeks to learn this. So s this Sunday, uh, what time? From 2 to 5. 2 to 5? Yeah. Free. Free of charge. Oh, really? Mm, and those who would like to learn other forms, because I teach different forms of art in different organizations. You man, aren't you just saying these things for TV? Are you sure you're going to teach me for free? Of course, yeah. If you come here on Sunday, it's for free. Okay. Sunday, guys, if you are watching on Sunday, come to Tirupati Mall that is in... Um, Future Rehearsal Studio? Sorry? Um, Future Rehearsal Studio. Okay. Uh, Future Re at Future uh, Rehearsal Studio, uh, that is at Tirupati Mall in... Uh, that is the road that comes from Zambia, right after the American Embassy. Keep looking on your left. Uh, there is a mall on your left. Go in, go to the second floor, and look for at Future and uh, this 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 man here is going to help you learn some of this art and it depends on your passion if you are really passionate about it it will take you a very very short time and you will learn this art and like we have learned um, it will take you uh, some time but if you nail this uh, kind of art it's going to earn you some really good money we're talking two million Uganda shillings for the art piece that we saw earlier on the gold art piece um, how much do you say this would cost this could cost between two millions to five. Two million to five million Uganda shillings for this piece of art. You are joking. No, I can't sleep on it to appreciate this. For people who know the nature of art and the touch and the feel, they can go in for that. How much, what is the cheapest? It depends on the nature because I do different sorts. There is that of pencil, different works, so it depends on the size. Of wow. Okay, the size and the type of art. Yeah. Wow. But, but, but at least give us the cheapest price, Munange, so that we know. The cheapest I can, it can be uh, between 150 on ones. Okay, so the cheapest is 150,000 Ghana shillings. Um, the most expensive, we can't tell because it depends how big you want your art piece. If you want a really big art piece like this one, it will cost you about uh, 2 million Uganda shillings and above. That depends on what you have in there. Now, in case you're wondering, um, he has a picture. Uh, let, me, let me get your phone uh, right here and hopefully we can we can zoom in um, on this picture now the painting you're seeing here is what is being painted but if you see on this smartphone those are the pictures oh that's the image where he's getting the painting from uh, impressive stuff i have to say impressive stuff um so uh, for someone who is out there who would want to get in touch with you and uh, probably call you or invite you so that you can teach them at their place how do they get in touch with you mm, they can either come here yeah. or they can call me Give them your on number. zero seven zero four mm. seventy six ninety nine seventy seventy six ninety nine seventy or zero seven seven two three nine nine seven one one okay there we go Nops Arts thank you very much for allowing us into your showroom you can go ahead with your painting uh, reality on the ground today we are at Tirupati Mall um, right here as you head to uh, the Kabalagala Junction and uh, we have been sharing some uh, interesting interesting views here on art this is expressive art that is being painted right here Okay, um, it's going to take us some, some time before we get this one done, uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you want to go for some, or come for some free training, you can do that. He said you can come here on Sunday between 2? Yeah, between 2 to two. 5.
2 to 5, you can come to Tirupati Mall. And this gentleman here will teach you for free. If you want to take him to your home, you'll have to pay some extra expenses. Reality on the ground on Morning at NTV. My name is David Rukasi. Uh, thank you. Let's stay around and get this um, piece of art finished. And we will share it with you by the end of the week. We'll bring it to the studio so that you can have a look at the finished product and uh, hopefully we can have naps ads in uh, the studio with us as well reality on the ground back to the studio uh, good morning my intention to be a president but uh, it is the people who appointed me he was a giant a boxer a rally driver